okay? Oh shit. Is that okay? I guess it's gonna it should be alright. Uh yeah, I see it. Hey, Shalawam Israel, Shalawam. Let's turn on some lights here. Okay. Hey, Shalawam, brothers and sisters, Shalawam. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikakwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalawam, brothers and sisters, Shalawam. Hey, all praises to Yahweh Shem Shah, man, bringing us out again tonight. But, but, you know, most of all, first and foremost, for keeping us in the spirit, man. Keeping this understanding, you know, here as, you know, as we pray that Yahweh Shem Shah not take his Holy Spirit off of us. You know, understanding that this is a precious gift that's not given to all, all Israelites, you know, so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. As we, uh, you know, uh, from last night even until today, looking at all the brothers... You know, on the four corners of the earth. You know, this gospel shall be preached on the four corners of the earth. Then shall the end come. Let's get that scripture. You know, watching all the brothers in their, in their, in their regions, in their cities, in their little towns, bringing out this hundred percent truth. You know, we're gonna get some scriptures, man. Uh, in just a second, bro. Hold on, one second. I want to get this Matthew real quick. You know, bringing out the scriptures. Matthew chapter. Matthew chapter twenty-four. Let me put them glasses on now, bro. We're gonna be we're gonna be wearing the glasses tonight, man. Matthew chapter twenty four, verse fourteen. And this gospel, right? We're talking about this this new song. You know, this new song that's been saying. And you can read about that new song in the book of Revelation, chapter fourteen, verse three. We might we might go get it. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So you know, we're seeing the brothers bringing out you know the live camps. I, I watched my big brother elder today while this uh this damn so-called catholic woman come up she's talking about some she believe she said she believe in the catholic church bro no not 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 in not in the lord you know because you know what the lord say hey, trust in trust in his word believe in the word no she believe in the catholic church what about the baptist church you don't believe in the baptist church you know they're supposed to be preaching the same shit you know what i'm saying and that's exactly they're preaching the same shit right because what what what, what we just read right here this is the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom, this gospel. So when the elder brought it up to her, hey, that, uh, that, that in the church, they, they done lied to us, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. You know, they didn't tell us that we're the Israelites. They done lied to us and gave us a false god and a false idol right here. This, this, this cracker right here. They told you that this is the Messiah right here. They told you to call on his name, some kind of J.C., you know, but we understand now in the in the last in the last days that this is not the Messiah. He don't look like no Caucasian man. We're going to read it in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But you knucklehead mother niggas still want to go to church and worship this false God and the false idol. So you're going to be destroyed. But what, what the scripture say? And this gospel. Hold on. Let me. I got a book upside down, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when the, when the elder tried to tell her, hey, you know, we've been lied to. You worshiping a false God and a false idol. This is a new gospel. Oh, oh. Yeah, God, God love everybody. Yeah, he, he ain't got no color. He does have a color. You know, who, who, who on the planet Earth does not have a damn color? You know, these people these people are crazy. You know, but but that's, you know, what the scriptures say. You know, they, uh, the gods of this world have, has blinded the minds of them that believe not. The gods of this world have blinded the minds of them that believe not. And that's why we open up being thankful for this truth, for the Holy Spirit of understanding, for discernment. You know, for this gift of faith that the Lord has blessed us with. So now we're out here standing on the four corners of the earth proclaiming this, this word of truth. And this gospel, this gospel right here, man. This new song that we just spoke about in the book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 3. Of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come, bro. Then shall the end come, right? Because what? Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it to follow it, right? This is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting of sunder of times? Or when shall the end of the first, when shall be the end of the first kingdom, that first heaven? Right? And when shall be the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's heel held first to he, so like it, Jacob's 
when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning be, the beginning of it that followed. Right. Esau, the Caucasian race, is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Man, it's in the scripture, you know, this is the spirit of prophecy right here. You know, the, the you know, uh the Yahba Shemasha, he said he declared the end from the beginning. You know, in the book of uh, Isaiah. Here we go, right here. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Right to the page, brother. I'll pray to you. How about Shemasha? Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Right? The, the counsel of the Lord shall stand. He's going to do all his pleasure, bro. And we, like I said, we might, we're going to jump back over to that book of. Um, let's go get that real quick. Let's go get that, that new song in the book of Revelations. Uh, chapter 14 verse 3 and they sung as it were a new song okay this is that new song this gospel this new gospel the gospel of peace declaring that hey the Habashim Shemashah is about to come back and this kingdom you know Esau, Esau Edom's kingdom the Hammond of the earth the, the Caucasian man the Caucasian Shizaki Esau Edom the Caucasian race I want to say the hammer of the earth you know the man of sin the sword of the Lord the 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 the, uh, the the um the son of perdition, you know, death, him, the pedophiles, the damn sodomites, the fucking the wicked, them. They're the end of this. This the end of their age, the end of their kingdom, and they sang as it were a new song before the throne, right, and before the four elders and the, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred. And 44,000, which were redeemed from the earth. Right, man, we're talking about, you know, prophecy right here. Because the Lord said he's going to He's gonna wake us up in the last days, pursuant to the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, right? These are they, so the 144,000, these are they which were what? Not defiled with women, right? We're not, we're no longer standing upon Edom, you know, with all these damn, with all this church bullshit. All these lies that they're, they're promoted to the children of Israel, telling them to eat pork, you know, tell them, you know, promoting adultery in the rap songs and stuff. You know, we're not doing that no more. No, we're coming back to you. How about Shema in spirit and in truth? Understanding that the Lord, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't say, he didn't say just like they lied on the Lord. Talking about he loved everybody and he came and died for everybody. But that's not what the scriptures say, bro. We're coming back to the hundred percent truth over here. What well, the Lord, the, the Messiah said, I was not, I was only, I was sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He came and died for the repentance of the children of Israel, right? And he also didn't do away with the law, like they say in these lying-ass churches. You know, he said, I did not come to do away with the law or the prophets. I came to fulfill, came to fulfill all the things that are written, written aforetime, written of him, bro. But that's okay, because we, hey, see, because you got to eat the whole roll, you have to believe the whole thing. Just like the scriptures say, we're going to get it in a minute. You know, talking about the election have obtained it and the rest are blinded. That this is, this is a gift of faith. The Lord said, no man coming to me unless the Father draw him. That's why we're out here proclaiming this word of truth, telling the children of Israel to fall down on your knees and beg. Beg the Lord for, for, for the truth, bro. Beg the Lord. Say, something, go, something got to be going on. These men over here making a damn living sacrifice of themselves for some reason on the four corners of the earth. All these different dudes, all these different camps all around the world, bro. Am I missing something? Just out the blue? Is this a new club? You know what I'm saying? Hey, come on. No, it's right here. This is telling you right here what it is. These are they which would not defile with women. These women, this women speaking about right here are these other doctrines and philosophies. One being that that uh that Christian that uh plantation Christianity, where they're telling you this white supremacist stuff right here to worship this this uh white man right here. Esau Edom, the Caucasian race. Not you children of Israel. Hey, they don't they don't want you to know. They want you to think that you're Africans, you know, not that that you actually, you know, ran, fleed from Jerusalem after 70 A.D., you know, you flee from Jerusalem to the west coast of Africa and throughout all those African regions. So we're not Africans. We're Israelites. We're from Israel, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's that new song. So we're not defiled with these different philosophies and doctrines no more. The Lord has blessed us. He's given us this truth. He's washed us and made us clean, bro. So and, 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 and so he told us to come out here and proclaim this word. Give them warning from me. He said, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. 
These are they which follow the Lamb. That's right, follow the words that's written down right here. Wheresoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh Shemashah and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, no lies, no falsehoods, you know, no wrong doctrines, but the 100% truth, bro. For they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh Shemashah. That's right, man. Be without fault, Lord, Lord willing, we're part of that number, bro. And it, it, that reminds me of that Romans right here, because he says wh 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 whoever he, he he justified, you know, he, he already justified him. Let's go get that Romans real quick before we move on. Is that going to go somewhere else? Going to that book of Romans. Chapter, chapter 8, verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, because what did the Lord say? Hey, before I knew you, before I knew you, before you were formed in the womb, let's go get that scripture, man. He said, I knew you before you was formed in the womb, man. Because it's about predestination, bro. Yeah, so, so it says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. So this is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, bro. Right. Ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And going right back to this book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 29. For whom he did for no, he also did predestinate, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is the thing of predestination. You know, having... Having the spirit to come out here on the highways and hedges and warn the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. He said, for whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed. That means changed, reborn, okay? To turn away from this wicked-ass world and all this bullshit that done not taught y'all niggas out here. You so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. To follow the ways of the heathen, you know? But this, 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 this word of truth is telling y'all you know, commanding y'all to return to Yahweh Shema Shai in truth. To, to return to the Lord and try, return to his law, statute, commandments. Have faith in the Lord, you know. Re repent with your whole heart. That's what, that, what, that's, what re that's what repent means, to return, to come back. Because the laws and statute, commandments were only given to the children of Israel who stood in front of Moses. But that's another thing that these, uh, these, uh, these lying-ass philosophies and doctrines of this world teaches up in this uh, plantation Christianity. You know what I'm saying? Telling you to wear a damn cross around your neck to signify the death of your Messiah? Oh yeah, brag about it. You know, like the brothers always say, it's just like, you know, somebody had a family member that was shot with a handgun. Are you going to be walking around with a handgun on your damn neck? Yeah, my family got shot with a handgun. He got killed. He got an AKA 47 shot his ass up. We got to wear this handgun to commemorate that shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's how they are. Because they want you to go off in any way to, to stay away from your Habba Shema Shai. To worship false idols. Right? But the Lord said, don't do that. Isn't that what the Lord say? Come on, let's go get that, man. In the book of Exodus, chapter 20. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20. Verse 4, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to, unto them nor serve them. And that lady talking about she believed in the Catholic Church, right? The same wicked ass Catholic Church that tell you that this, this man, this Caucasian man is the Messiah. The same Catholic Church that tell you to pray to Virgin Mary, bro. You know? To tell you to put on that cross. To tell you to, to hold those rosary beads and pray with them. All kind of st stupidness. You know, but the Lord, didn't the Lord say, we are the temple of Yahweh Shema Shai? Bam, once again, telling you to go pray in those temples made with hands. But the Lord said, I don't dwell in no temple made with hands. But it's, this, this word is only for the children of Israel. Come on, man, let's go back to the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 29. For whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that they... That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. 
and whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified, bro. Justified by this word of truth. Justified by speaking, you know, as the oracles of Yahweh Shema Shai, with no guile in your mouth. Speaking about what the Lord say, not what we say. You know, not leaning on our own understanding. You know, not handling the word deceitfully or for filthy lucre's sake. Nothing like that, man. Stacking up our riches in heaven. You know, trying to be that servant to you, of Yahweh Shem Shai to the best of our abilities with the spirit that the Lord has given us, bro. Okay, I want to get, uh, I want to, uh, no, also, oh yeah, 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 I know, I know what it was. Also, about those, the brothers with the live camps, man. So, uh, what was it? I think it was last night, though. The Mississippi brothers. So, the Dallas brothers, the Dallas camp, came over to Mississippi, right? And they were out there preaching the word, and the police had come up, all like police all up and down the street, with their flashing lights and shit. And they was like, the police probably saying, what are we going to do about these Negroes? You know, because he said, he asked the, he asked the, he asked the brother, how, how many how many of uh, y'all be in the camp normally? He's like about nine brothers. And they I think that, you know, they probably spread out anyway all across, you know, the place. No, 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 they there. They there. All nine of them are there most of the time. And uh, so now he says like like 30 brothers, you know, and they got like all over the place. They got different camps to set up in different regions, you know, on their place. And, and I thought that was just beautiful. It was just beautiful, bro. Uh, because once again, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preaching all the world for a witness and then shall the end come, right? And it's happening right in front of the faces, right? And uh, I wanted to make another point, uh, just like here, where, where we at right now, preaching this word right here. You got the Israelites walking up and down. They have no clue, no idea what's going on because, hey, we're about to get them strips. We got, we got a few strips to, to bring out, you know, once to show, you know, for us to reconfirm, you know, that this is for us, man. This is a gift of faith, you know, and it's beautiful, bro. It's only for the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel, okay? Uh, and also with the big brother elder, I want to make mention, and all those other camps too. You know, just had that that Hurricane Ian smash up the place, you know, in Florida, and some places in, in South Carolina too got got flooded out. You know, not too bad, but still something. And you know, just like the brother said early that morning, he came out and did an epistle, uh, and he was like, they're playing volleyball. It's like nobody gave a damn that they could have, the whole shit could have been fucked up. Nobody took a pause to thank the Lord. Nothing like that. Because what, you know, nobody, they don't believe in Yahweh Shema Shai. But the Lord has blessed us to actually have faith in the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, like uh, that day after the storm passed us, even though it was a mild storm, it was calm, it was, it was nothing much, you know. The next day I was still, I was quiet, man. I, I didn't do much of nothing. I was like, just, I was just thankful that it passed without any incident because it could be bad man power with you know without power for a while you know uh without uh, just you know just terrible man just in the uproar more you know extra work in babylon the great here because you know who's gonna have to build up that shit the children of israel bro hell shit so it was a, you know on one hand you want the shit to be destroyed and on the other hand you want to be preserved through it so we can understand you know Hey, you know, they say misery loves company, so we want the whole shit to be fucked up at one time, if, if that's possible. But we understand there's going to be little pockets of things happening here and there, bro. So, but anyway, I just, I made that observation that nobody, you know, everybody pass, passing by, even that, that Catholic, that woman talking about she, she uh, believes in the Catholic Church. They just all pass by and make it, you know, not worried about the word of truth being proclaimed on the four corners of the earth. Once again, how about Shema Shah say, hey, no man come to me unless the father draw him, bro. What a blessing, right? He said, you can't, I can't say it enough. You know, I chose you, you did not choose me. And right now, Yahweh Shema Shai got us in this wise counsel. God is believing and understanding these words of truth. Jew, the Jew and the Greek, we understand that, that they're all Israelites, bro. You know what I'm saying? We understand Yahweh Shema Shai didn't die for all the whole damn world. We understand about, um, about righteous rulership. We understand about you know, he that lead it into captivity shall go into captivity. It's a beautiful gift of faith, my man. You know what I'm saying? And it's only for us, bro. Come on, let's go get these few scriptures. I want to bring up this one in the book of Mark, chapter 6, verse 4. I want to get it in the NLT real quick, though. Mark 6, 4. Then Yahushua told them, a prophet is, and this is the NLT, Mark chapter 6, verse 4. A prophet is honored everywhere except in his own hometown. And among his relatives, 
and his family. Okay? And because of their unbelief, he couldn't do any miracles among them except to place his hands on a few sick people and heal them. Right? Yeah. And he was amazed at their unbelief. Then Yahweh Shah went from village to village teaching the people. Right? So, you know, a prophet is not is is without I'm going to read it one more time. A prophet is honored everywhere except in his own hometown and among his relatives and his own family. Just proving that point that nobody's going to believe this word of truth, bro. Except for what? Except for the ones that the Lord has blessed with the understanding. Who's my mother, my brother, my sister? Those that do the will of Yahweh Shema Shah, right? Let's go to the book of Matthew. You know, because what, what did the Lord say? I'm going to give you the spirit of truth. You know, hold on. Let's go get it real quick. Okay, this, uh, John chapter 14, verse 15, right? It's like a fail-safe, you know? First, you, you hear the word. You know, you're going to hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk you in it. you be like, what y'all talking about? They're going to inquire about the sign over here, the 12 tribes chart, telling you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians who you are, that you're not just some Negroes, you know, but you're the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Who, what's that mean? What's that mean over here? That's what the scriptures say. That's what the prophecies say. And you're going to tell them, you know, we're here to proclaim the word of truth. That we are the lost child of Israel. And at this time, Yahweh Shema Shah has blown that breath of life into us. We want to go get that too. I want to get that earlier, man. Hold on. Do I, am I holding something back here? I was going to go get that Matthew. Hold on. I want to get that Revelation chapter 11, verse 11 real quick. Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life, you know, that Holy Spirit from Yahweh Shema Shai entered into them. And they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Right. After that three days and a half, man, you know, after the transatlantic slave trade until that appointed time, you know, and now we're standing up on our feet, you know, and great fear fell upon them. You know, just like Ezekiel chapter 37. I almost want to go get that Ezekiel chapter 37. Let's go get this um, John chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments, right? Plain and simple, right? We're going to, uh, you know, you're going to hear a word behind you saying, this is the way you walk you in it. You're going to uh, learn about the names of Yahweh Shema Shai. You're going to inquire about the sign, you know, or you're going to stumble across it on YouTube, you know. You're going to inquire about, the, you know, if the Lord put the spirit on you, you know, to come to him all the way because we understand there's some Israelites out here that doesn't have the Holy Spirit. They, they you know, uh, fulfilling that other prophecy in the book of Daniel. Let's go get that real quick. Daniel. No, man, it's serious, bro. It's very, very scary, man. That's why it's a very, uh, you know, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Shema Shai. And this is a true blessing. You know, that's why the scripture said, blessed are they who are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. Okay? So you got many are called, but few are chosen. Okay? So this is the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust, right? Once again, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. You know? And the Lord, we just read Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. The Lord's going to blow that breath of life into us. Right? And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. They're going to awake. They're going to remember that they're Israelites. Some to everlasting life. And some to everlasting shame and contempt. Right? And what does the scripture say? It's the spirit that quickened. It's the spirit that quickened. The flesh profited nothing. Right. So, you know, it's, you're not, this is not a carnal thing. This is a spiritual thing. But it's the spirit that, that maketh alive. Right. And uh, we got to go get that. We got to go get a little bit of that uh, Daniel. We got to go get a little bit of that Ezekiel there, man. Just to prove that. Just to get that point out. Just to get that point across. That is Ezekiel chapter 37. Okay. Come on, let's just let's just read some of it. Maybe they're gonna turn that alarm off in a minute. It says, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out of the spirit 
of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones, the valley of the shadow of death. It caused me, you know, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, right? It caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. The, their dead bodies shall lay in the streets of the city of the great, they shall lay in the streets of the great city. They were very dry. Verse 3, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? You know, somebody, motherfucker, motherfucker, doing that shit on purpose, bro. Son of man, can these bones live? You know, these damn demons, bro. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, how about you, shout thou knowest. And again, he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones. And he said unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. How about you, shout hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord unto these dry bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. Right? He's going to cause breath to enter into you. And ye shall live. And I will lay shadows upon you and will bring upon flesh, bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am Yahweh Shema Shah. Right? Yahweh Shema Shah say, hey, listen, you, you are 144, hopefully elect and one third of Israel. I'm going to wake you up. I'm going to blow this breath of life into you. Just like we just read in the book of Revelation chapter 11 verse 11. And you shall live, right? Because, hey, the, the, um, the spirit, the flesh profited nothing, you know? It's the spirit that quickening the flesh profited nothing. Right? Hang on, I just want to start out tell you thanks for the gas that one time, all right? Okay, yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Welcome. And I will lay shadows upon you, and ye, and will bring up flesh upon you, and, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. And bone came together, bone to his bone. Night. And when I beheld, lo, the shadows and flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them. What? But there was no breath in them, bro. And that's what we're speaking about. They see, some of the children of Israel, they don't woke up to the fact that they're the Israelites. But what? There's no breath into them. There's no, there's no, that Holy Spirit is not in them, right? And we're about to go get that real quick. Because... You know, as we say, as we was bringing it out, you know, you're going to ask, inquire, what's, what's that sign mean? Oh, yeah, we're the children of Israel. We're waking up in the last days, you know. You know, we're, you know, and then we're going to say, you know, uh, we've been lied to. They had us worshiping a false god and a false idol, so-called named J.C. over here, this Caucasian man. But the scripture tells you that the Messiah was a, 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 a man with brown, brown skin with woolly hair. You know, but yet in these churches, in these damn with this false Christ Christianity, they're telling you this white supremacist to worship this this damn devil. What what what? The Lord said, "Thou shalt have no other gods before me, bro." Because what? The Lord, the law, and commandments were only given to the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, brothers and sisters. Right? So, the Lord said, "Prophesy to the wind," because we're we're preaching we're, we're preaching up to the to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. And the 144, hopefully elect, and one-third of Israel are going to hear these words. They're going to repent. Only a remnant shall return. We're about to get those scriptures right now. You know, we're not preaching to every... We, we, yeah, they're, they're going to hear it, you know, because they're going to be condemned by the word, or either they're going to repent and be healed. But the, the Lord tells us, you know, hey, if you... if you Let's go get the scripture in the book of Luke. So we're not using our own words. Luke chapter 13, you know, verse 2. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them... Okay. Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all Galileans because they suffered such things? Hey, you think that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans? Who's the Galileans? The children of Israel. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Simple as that. With this new song right here, it's 100% truth. Not no false god, no false idol, so-called name JC, up in these damn harlot houses, talking about the law statute commandments is done away with. You know, because what are you going to do? You're going to repent and keep going off? You're going to commit? You're going to repent? Repent and keep committing adultery. Commit. You're going to repent and keep eating crab, shrimp, pork, and lobster? No, you got to return, you know, to the best of your abilities, having faith in the Lord, understanding what times you're living in, understanding who you are, that you went off. 
The Lord is near to them with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. He said, only acknowledge thy offense, bro. He said, hey, we got to go get that scripture now, see? Now, I feel like I'm all over the place, but I'm not. Am I Am I all over the place? Hold on, bro. We had to get that scripture for that lady. Let's let's finish that scripture off. And we're going to come back uh, and close it out. Not close it out, but we're going to come back and get this Ecclesiastes. Then we're going to go back to to that uh, to that Holy Spirit, okay? So, once again, Luke chapter 13, verse 2. Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all Galileans because they suffered such things. I tell you, nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those 18 upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them. Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise, all likewise perish. What that word perish mean? It means be cut off. You know what I'm saying? The Lord talking about different different ways that he's got judgment coming out, coming, coming upon the earth right now. For the children of Israel mainly. You know, the two-thirds of the children of Israel are going to get cut off and die, bro. So we're looking to be delivered out of those said perils, man. He's talking about famine, teeth of wild beasts, the sword, you know, the modern gate gun, hammers, you know, knives, machetes. Talking about getting thrown in concentration camps, getting beat to death, sedition among men, starving to death, you know. And ultimately, the nuclear warhead is going to be shot over here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, to destroy this place at the height of World War III, bro. So we're looking, we're looking for to be delivered out of all that thing. So, you know, once again, like I was saying, you know, you're going to hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. You know, you're going to come, learn the names of the Lord. You're going to beg, beg your Habba Shema Shai, you know, for the understanding, for the Holy Spirit. You're going to believe. And then what you're going to do? You're going to, we got to get it. We got to get it in the scripture real quick. Hold on. Let's just get this real quick. In that Ecclesiasticus, Okay. 17 verse 24 but unto them that repent i can't man i can't i love this scripture right here the simplicity of yahweh shemashah but unto them that repent right that's why sometimes i ask i said did they repent you know did they even repent or did they just know that they're israelites or who did they repent to are they repenting to the to the so-called jc or to christ you know what i'm saying or or to this man over here that man because they joined some club straight out of fucking jail or some shit or signed an application to get in there no, man. This is the thing of Yahweh Shemesh calling us out of darkness into this marvelous light. This is a spiritual thing, bro. Okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 17, verse 24. But until them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. Return unto the Lord and for what? And forsake thy what? Sins. What is sin? Transgression of the law. Okay? He said forsake them. But I thought the law was done away with. No, that's what they taught you in these lying ass churches. Okay? They try to teach you, teach you how to be an anti-Messiah. Okay? Telling you not to believe in the one true living God, but believe in a false God and a false idol so-called named JC, bro. And comes along with that a bunch of different spirits that you, you love everybody all of a sudden. Even your enemies, who you don't even know your enemies is. Okay? It says, return to the Lord, you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Once again, how can you return into something you never was part of? We're talking about the 144 hopefully left. We're talking about the children of Israel over here. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin upon sin. Right? Because we understand we're in these chains of darkness. Carnal flesh going to be going off. But hey, whenever you do, you know, you're doing it to the best of your abilities. And if you have a problem, you got some problems or something, throw all your cares and affairs on your house by Shah. Ask the Lord forgive you for your sins, man. Let not your sins weigh you down, but let not your iniquities lift up themselves either, bro. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin. So, you know, you, you now we get it. Okay. So, look. Okay, we're going to go off. But look. Are we going to go off today and then again do the same shit tomorrow? No. Are we going to do it again tomorrow or the next day? Nope. What about the next day after that? You're going to keep doing it. That, you know, iniquity upon iniquity, sin upon sin upon sin. You know, are you going to, oh, I repent it. But now I'm going to do it again. Oh, I repented for it, but I'm going to do it again. Now I repented for it, I'm going to do it again. So, hey, what does it say? Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate that abomination vehemently. He's going to lead you out of that, out of that, little, that, little, that little pit that you're in, you know. That's why the scriptures say, be patient when thou change to a lower state, you know. Hey, 
And we brought it out the other day, you know, uh, let perfect have her perfect work. You know, just say, hey, understand what's going on. Under, you know, learn from your mistakes, bro. That's what it's all about, right? Come on, y'all. Now, let's go back one more time to refresh. Hold on, where we at? Okay, we can, we can let the loot go now. Let's go back and refresh that uh, Ezekiel chapter 37. I, was, I had read down to, let's start at verse 4 again. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh Shem Hashem. Right, so, hey, once again, so you got, you got uh, those are the circumcision that have, that have woken up to the fact they know they're Israelites, okay? You still got some other stiff-necked Negroes out here that will not accept that they're the children of Israel. They want to be, they want to be black. No, man, my slave master told me I'm black, bro. You can't, I'm proud to be black, man. And that's a fact, man. And that's the fact that about the black, black, man. You know what I'm saying? You try to tell him, what's your nationality? I'm black. Is that a nationality? Where's you, where do you, where do you people come from? They come from Africa. Well, then why are you calling yourself black? Wouldn't that be Africans? You know, your actual national, you know, which one is it? Jay confused, bro. What does scripture say? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, bro. But now the scripture, the spirit of prophecy say we're going to wake up in the last days and we're going to remember ourselves, bro. Come out here and proclaim these words of truth to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Tell them that you're the Israelites. The, the, why do you think they call it the lost 12 tribes of Israel, fool? Come on. Let's go get it. Once again, Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 4. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. God into these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, right? But wait a minute. He said, I'm going to cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, right? That spirit, right? And I will lay shadows upon you, and you will and will bring up flesh upon you, your identity, that flesh. And, and cover you with skin, and put breath put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I'm Yahweh Right, we're going to live, and we're going to know that he's Yahweh Shema We're going to know. Okay, oh Lord, Lord have mercy. What? We went to the transatlantic slave trade because we disobeyed the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Shema bro. He said we got to discontinue from our heritage, and it happened to us. Prophecy being fulfilled right there, bro. You got to know that I'm Yahweh Shema right? Hold on now. So I prophesied as I commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bones. And when I beheld, lo, the shadows and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Okay, let's, let's hold on right there. Hold on, hold the phone right there. Hold the phone right there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So now, I just had this thing, I don't know, bro. Okay, look, we got, we got, we got uh, understanding of Israelites waking up to the truth. They, they come into the truth for a little bit. You know, they get, they get some understanding, they get some knowledge. And then they run down the street somewhere and say they got it all on their own some kind of way. You know, or they, they start changing the doctrine around and twisting it all around. But they ever come to the fullness because the scripture in the book of Ephesians telling you that he's giving us some apostles. See, because Yahweh Shemasha knows our heart, bro. You know? The scripture tells us he's given some apostles, some evangelists, some pastors, some prophets and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, right? And then the book of uh, 1 Timothy tells you, uh, let's go get it real quick. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Bear with me, bro. You know, we read that Timothy all the time. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. These things command and teach. Right? Let no man despise thy youth. Right? Don't, hey. We're babes in this thing. Take your damn time. You know, there's no reason to be trying to, what does it say? If a man think more highly than he ought to think, you know, hey. Him that exalted himself shall be abased. Okay? You know. Walk in the spirit, bro. Be thankful for this truth. You know what I'm saying? Let no man despise their youth. No. Don't despise your youth. We're babes in this thing. You know, there's an order to this thing. 
He's given some elders, some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors, and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints for a reason, bro. He said, I'm going to give you pastors according to mine own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. Started with the elders, apostles, great millstone, all the brothers on down that umbrella, bro, right? It says, let no, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example to the believers. Hey, bro, this, you know, come in this way. You know, Yahweh Shem say, hey, he's a door. If any man come up some other way, he's a thief and a robber. That's one way. Check it out. But be an example to the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in what? Purity. Thankful. The, the, the hour coming now is when the true worshipers shall worship Yahweh Shemashah in spirit and in truth, bro. Okay? The true worshipers shall worship Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth. Okay? It says, Let no man despise their youth. But be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, and in faith. Be an example, bro. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Right? Comfort each other with these words. There's one, one, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's only one way. Why do you think we're coming out here proclaiming that these lying-ass churches down the see the children of Israel, telling them that the Lord loves everybody? All this BS. You know, trust in thy enemy. The East, Esau, Edom. The Caucasian race, man. Trust in them. After they done beat your ass down, destroyed your households, kicked the man out the house. You know what I'm saying? Put the women up on top. You know? Go, and, and they're the Antichrist, bro. And they're making you into an Antichrist. You know? Scripture speaks about there are many Antichrists. That's why the Lord telling us to come out from among them. Touch not the unclean thing. You know, be ye separate. Be holy. You know, we're yet this day in our captivity. But use the word, but not abuse it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Envy not thy oppressor. All these things, guys, these are the guys of life. Okay? It says, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Check it out, bro. Neglect not the gift. Number one, Yahweh Shemashah, like we was talking about earlier. You know, the Lord said, I have not shown these things to all men, but to but to thee and a few like thee. Okay? These mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, number one. But also, there's some Israelites out here, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, that does not even accept that they're Israelites. They're still pro-black. They're still cleaving on to Esau, Eden, the Caucasian race, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Cleaving on to this wicked-ass world, even though this is the end of an age, the end of an empire. We're, we're prophesying the downfall of this kingdom. And we're, we're, uh, we're, we're ushering in the kingdom of heaven, bro. This is the year turn up, okay? Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Right, this is a gift of faith, bro. It's a gift that the Lord has woken us up to the truth to even know that we're Israelites, right? So don't neglect that gift first and foremost. And then you get your ass in line. Get in order. That's an order. Don't have to rush to the, try to rush to the front of the line. Now look, you should be afraid. So you should make all diligence, you know, uh, to make all diligence to make your election. I'm, I got to go get it now. Be so lucky, Be diligent to make your calling and election sure. Okay. And what's that? But be be diligent in order. Okay. You don't have to take the gospel that you you that little bit that you learn. You think you know, and run down the street and start twisting it around. You know, trying to make it your own. Because we, we're just prophets. We're just preaching the word of Yahweh Shemashah. Being no faithful servants. That's all, bro. You know, once again, not for filthy lucre's sake, not trying to sell no t-shirts or make merchandise of the children of Israel, bro. You know, we're condemning this wicked-ass world, bro. Yeah, how about you, my child, say, they, they seek a better country. Eyes have not seen nor ear heard all the wonderful things that the Lord has in store for them that love him, bro. And we got to get it in a minute. I can't even wait to get over there, bro. I can't wait to get that scripture. I can't wait to get the scripture. Okay, come on, let's go get it. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. I'm going to give you pastor according to mine own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. Okay? Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, bro. Meditate upon the words that you've learned. And be doers of the word, not hearers only. Right? Understand about the false prophets. Understand about them 
that that went out from us that they they might be manifest that they might be made manifest that they were not of us you know these are the words Yahweh Shah telling us to meditate upon these things examine yourself to see if you're in the faith prove your own self bro you know fear of the Lord number one do you have fear of Yahweh Shah do you do know do you know the names of the Lord there's only one name on the heaven that thou must be saved what's his name what's his son's name if thou can tell bro you know what I'm saying Okay? Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly unto them, that thy property may appear to all. Right, because what did the Lord say? You gotta know them by their fruits. Huh? You gotta know them by their fruits, bro. Take heed unto thyself. Once again, you know, hey, it's right here, all right here. Take heed unto thyself. Am I doing this thing properly? Am I coming under the order? You know? Because, you know, Yahweh Shema Shah is not a man of, of confusion. Not the author of confusion, bro. But see, that's 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 it, man, right there. That's the faith that we're speaking about right here that the Lord has blessed us with in these last days. Let's go get it, man. We, I think we done veered, like, off course a little bit. Come on, let's come back. Take heed unto thyself and into the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Right. Once again, going back to the scripture, you know, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither an evil tree can bring forth good fruit. Right? So take heed unto thyself and to the doctrine, and in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Right? Because you you know, you're going to be doing things, you know, you're going to be justified in thy sayings. If you're doing exactly what the Lord has commanded us to do, which is simply to come out here, prophesy to the wind, bro, condemn this wicked ass world, you know, and roughly paraphrasing, you know, uh, watch yourself. At least after I preach to others, I myself might be a castaway, bro. You know, it's a fearful thing, my man. Right? So let's go back. Are we finished with that Ezekiel? I wanted to get that Ezekiel up into that part because after it says, uh, hold on, let's go get it one more time. And then we're going to go to that John, okay? Then we're going to move on. It says, and I will lay, so this is the Lord telling you what he's going to do. This is Yahweh Shema Shah saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, right? So look, he's saying, so this is Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 6, And I will lay shadows upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh Shema Shah, right? So I prophesied, right? So look, there's a break. So I prophesied as I was commanded, right? And as I, pro as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and bones came together, bone to bone. And when I beheld, lo, the shanus and the flesh came upon them, and skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Right. So look, once again, you got the word. Ah, yeah, we the Israelites. Oh, shit. Let's make some rap songs. Hey. Here come the Hebrew You know? Being carnal with it. Get yourself together. Wait, what's that, what's that song say again? We, we said it the other day. I should go listen to that song again, man. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hebrews are coming, yeah. 100,000 for 4,000. Remember that song? Yeah, man. All that stuff, man. Yeah, but look, there's no breath in them, bro. You know, what about the M-A-R-K? What about the spirit of prophecy? Okay? What about the scripture telling you, hey, can two walk together unless they be agreed? Ah! That's when they want to do it things their own way because there's no breath in them. Right? Come on, let's go. See, so there's a break. There's a break right there, bro. There was a little break. I just want to make that point. It says, and when I beheld, so this is verse 8, lo, the shadows and flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me. Okay, so now, let's carry on. Then said he unto me, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may, what? Live. It's the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. Come on, oh, let's go get that scripture, man. Because I keep, I keep, uh, I keep uh, paraphrasing it, right? 
And that, that oh, that's that's beautiful. All praise to Yahweh Shema Shai. Because it fits right in there. And y'all, do y'all try to, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to say the point so blatantly. But I'm still trying to say it. You know, as we read in the book of First First Timothy, chapter 4, you know, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, you know, telling you to, to continue in the apostles' doctrine, okay? But as we've seen, many Israelites have taken the word and gone, go ahead and did whatever they wanted to do with it, you know? All right. Okay, look, we're going to go to the book of John. Chapter, well, we're just going to read it off the phone right here. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit. Okay, look, it's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing, bro. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, right? So it's the spirit, bro. The spirit that quickeneth. You know, the flesh profited nothing. Right, that's why we're not. We're supposed to walk in the spirit, not carnal, not carnal, not to be carnally minded. Because the scripture says to be carnally minded is death. Right, Ooh. right. So it is the spirit that quickens the flesh, profit nothing. The words, what? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So if you hear that you're an Israelite, right, and you get this, you know, you do you eat the whole roll? Do you have do you have an understanding of what the scriptures say? With all thy getting, you know, get wisdom, get knowledge. But with all thy getting, get understanding. Right? Did you did you repent to the one true living God with a sincere heart? With a contrite, broken heart? Did you sit down and understand, hey, once again, Yahweh Shemashi, drug us through the transatlantic slave trade. We're yet this day in our captivity, bro. You ever thought about that? Come back to the Lord with weeping, with mourning, with supplication, my man. Understand it, please. Have mercy on us. Understanding the, the, the spirit of prophecy about the things that are about to happen, bro. Asking the Lord for mercy now? That's what's going on around here. Now let's go back to the book of Ezekiel. See, because the words are spirit and they are life. The words that was what? Given thee by the by the land on the hands of the Presbytery. But if you didn't get the whole message, you know, as took off, took off down the damn road to do something for some filthy lucre's sake or some vainglory, you know, you're going off. You know what I'm saying? Look. And when he and when I beheld, lo, the shadows and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. There's no Holy Spirit in them, bro. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, Come forth, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them. And they lived and stood upon their feet an exceedingly great army, bro. Then said he unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, O bones, our, dry, our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus said Yahweh Shemashah, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel, right? That 144. Only a remnant shall return, bro. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh Shemashai. You shall know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves, oh my people, and brought you up out of your graves, right? We got to go get that scripture. They, they allowed their, their dead bodies to lay in the streets of the great city. And shall put my spirit into you. That's what we're talking about, bro. The Lord put his spirit into us, man. Connecting right to Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. He blew that breath of life into us. Okay? And ye shall live, and I shall place you in your land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it. Say, Yahweh Shemashah. Right. So we got to know that the Lord's words are faithful and true, bro. Okay? Now, let's go, before we go, because I've been talking about this scripture in the book of John, chapter 14. I'm going to just go get it. Then, you know, you know, if, if it be the Spirit, you know, we'll go get that, uh, well, let's go get that dead body laying in the street before we go. Man, I, I don't know. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. 
In the book of Revelation chapter 11 verse 8. 11 verse 8. Okay. Eleven verse eight, Revelation eleven verse eight, and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Okay, and there and they of the people and kindreds and tongues of, of and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in grave. Right? They didn't tell us that, and it's still not until this very day. They stolen our land and our heritage. You know. They didn't. They're not, still not telling us that we're the children of Israel, bro. No, we still we gotta be some niggas. But that's what that's the curses of Yahweh Shema Shai. Say we're gonna be a proverb and a byword, man. You know, he said no man's gonna deliver you. Nobody's gonna save you from this from this hell that we're in right now, bro. But 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 you know what? The beauty part of it, Yahweh Shema Shai said, "Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free." So we're actually free in the mind, but we're waiting on Yahweh Shema Shai to come and deliver us out of this physical captivity. But look, their dead bodies shall lay in the streets of the great city, the great city, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, the city of harlots, the city of abominations, which spiritually is called Sodom. Right, right now they're pushing Sodom, sodomy. They're pushing, you can change your, your, you can change your kind, you know, that's cool. It's the anti-Messiah spirit. You can do anything you want. You know what I'm saying? They're pushing all that, Right. And Egypt. Egypt, because why? This is the place of our captivity, transatlantic slave trade. Where also our Lord was crucified. Once again, going right back to this false god and false idol right here, so-called named JC. All the philosophies that come along with this. They're telling you that our Lord, you know, they're trying to X him out. They're trying to say, no, you know, your, your, your God, you so-called, you, you Israelites, your God is this Caucasian man. You know, your God is not... He didn't, he didn't die for you. He died for everybody. You know, they're trying to X out everything that the Lord stood for. You know? They're trying to tell you that the law of statute commandments are done away with. They're trying to tell you that it's okay for a woman to have authority over the man. Everything against what the Lord has said because it's the son of perdition. That wicked being revealed pursuant to the book of uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3. So now... Now, bro, let's go get it, man. Just this simple scripture right here, okay? Coming back to the to the to the kind of like the topic, I guess. This is the book of uh, John, chapter fourteen, verse fifteen. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Right? Let's jump up, bro. Let's jump up to fourteen. John chapter fourteen, verse fourteen. One four four, right? If you if ye shall Ask anything in my name, I would do it. That's what we're talking about, bro. Because look, we're, what we're doing right now is asking things that pertain to salvation. And what we're doing now is asking things because we have the mind of Yahweh Shema So we're asking the Lord for mercy. You know, we're asking things that the Lord wants. He wants he want us to, you know, be delivered. He said, for my name's sake, I'm going to do this. So we're asking the Lord to deliver us, to have mercy on us, bro. Okay? We're asking the Lord for the downfall of our enemies. Esau, Edom, and the Caucasian race. The, the destruction of Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. For the kingdom of heaven to be established. You know, so we can have dominion and rulership being joint heirs in the kingdom of heaven. With Yahweh Shai, bro. We're asking for these things. To be delivered out of the time of Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. Come on, let's go get this scripture real quick. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, verse 7. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, verse 7. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, verse 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. There's nine things to be happy, bro. Woo. I lost my place, okay. And the tenth will I utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, right? Which we don't have that now. Not in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, with his damn child support and his women's liberation and all that shit, upholding that shit, all that bullshit, taking your children from you. But we're going to have that in the kingdom of heaven, bro. 
There be nine things in my heart that have judged my heart to be happy, and tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies, bro. To see the fall of his enemies. That's what we're talking about. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. You know, Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, the rulership being broken down and destroyed, and the kingdom of heaven being set up. That's what we're talking about. The downfall of his enemies, my man. And what is what is scripture in the book of Deuteronomy tells us? That we're going to be sold into the hands of our enemies. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy thee. But Yahweh Shema Shah said, I'm going to come and deliver you. Okay? So look, let's go back. So look. So those are the things that we're asking for. John, John chapter 14, verse 14. If ye ask anything in my name, I will do it. That's what we're talking about, baby. So that's what we're asking for, those things right there. And, and you know, a few other things, of course, you know, to be for protection, even now, for the angels of the Lord to encamp round about them that, that fear him. And I will pray the Father, and he shall, this is the point we want to make right here, though. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give, the, give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world, click it, click it, whom the world cannot receive. What the spirit... The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Right? So the world cannot receive this truth. This is only for the 144 and one third of children of Israel right now. Right? The scripture does say all Israel shall be saved. But that's big, bro. You just can't blow past that. Okay? And that's the, that's the mercy. And that's that gift of faith that the Lord has given us, man. That mercy, man. So look, let's read it one more time. And I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter. That he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth. Right. Because what the world is all kept. All wrapped up in all these lies. And gross darkness. Right. Whom the world cannot receive. Because that's why everybody was so. So. Uh, so gung ho. About taking the medicine. You know. Whatever the man say. Oh yeah. You're going to. You know. Two weeks. You'll be. You'll be back on the street. Back at your job. Whatever. You know. Oh shit. Now you got to come. Oh you need another one. Oh shit. You need another one now. Hey, don't mind the people that's dying from it. Oh, don't worry about the reactions and stuff. Hey, you're not going to be able to sue the companies. All oh, this madness, bro. But the Lord blessed us, man, with this truth, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let us understand about the implementation of the MRK. To understand, you know, the, what the scripture in the book of Amos? Surely the Lord God will do nothing until he reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, bro. And the secrets are being revealed. And, he, and we, we understand them and know them, bro. The spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him. But ye know him. For he, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while the world seeth me no more. But ye see me. Because I live. Ye shall live also. Okay. At that day. Ye shall know that I am in the Father. And ye in me. And I in you. He that hath my commandments. Right. From cover to cover. Not just no Ten Commandments, but the laws of life. And keepeth them. He is, he is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father. And I will love him. And we manifest myself to him, bro. Hey, all praise to you. How about Shema Shah for that, man? So come on, let's go get it. We're going we're gonna to run them down, bro. Okay. We're going to go to the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 11. We're going to start to close it out. Matthew chapter 13 verse 11. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But unto them it is not given. Okay. It is given to you to know the what? The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. That's why you got some Israelites that cannot see what the M-A-R-K is. You know. They cannot see their enemy. Esau, Eden, the Caucasian race. They just can't see it. They don't believe it. You know. They can't see, can two walk together unless they unless they be agreed, bro. They can't see that, bro. You know, they can't see that two-thirds of the children of Israel are going to get cut off and die. You know, even those are the circumcision. Because the scripture tells you in the book of uh, 1 Peter. You know, just that's the way it is. Because what, what, uh, let's go get the Hebrews real quick. Let's go get the Hebrews real quick.
This is the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well unto, as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Right? And what the Lord say? You know, if you have faith, small as a grain of mustard seed, you know. He also said, you know, uh, he that believeth in me, he that believeth in me is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. So there's no faith in the one true living God. They got a problem with this little thing over here. They got some kind of problem with that. You know what I'm saying? They're going off. But look, in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 17, it says, For the time, for time has come that judgment must begin at the house of, of Yahweh Shimon Shai. And we are the we are the we are the house of Yahweh Shimon Shai, the children of Israel. Jerusalem is a place, as the people before is a place. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? Right. If the if judgment begins at the house of Israel, What's going to happen to the ones that obey not the gospel? You know, to cast the words of the Lord behind them back, you know? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Right? And they don't even have, they don't even have fear of Yahweh Shema Shai. Right? The Lord says, you know, by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned, bro. You know? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh Shema Shai commit the keeping of their soul to him in well-doing, as into a faithful creator. Right, man. Be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Going back to the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 11. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it is not given, bro. Simple as that. You know, uh, Romans. Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not attained that which is seeketh for. Right, wait a minute. What about the rest of the people on the planet? Why is it always talking about Israel? Because it strips it only for the children of Israel anyway. The so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. What then? Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for, but the election have obtained it. And even, even the Israelites, there's a remnant of the remnant. Okay? It's a very small number, bro. Yahweh Shema Shah said, I'll be unto you as a small sanctuary. This is a marvelous, special, precious gift. What then? Israel have not attained that which is seeking for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest, the rest of who? The rest of the Israelites were blinded. Going back over here, I'm going to jump over here to the book of Romans chapter 9, verse 6. Not as though the word of Yahweh Shema Shai had taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. They're not all Israel just because they're Israelites. We're talking about the Israel of the Most High. Come on, let's go get that Galatians then. Galatians chapter 6. Oh, 16. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be unto them and mercy and upon the Israel of Yahweh Shemashah. Why? Right. As many walk according to this rule. Right. What's, you know... The Lord is constantly taught, telling us to what? Keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. Right? But then we not we understand we're not justified by the law. But he's talking about the book in its entirety. So as many as walk according to this rule, what? We're rehearsing the righteous acts, right? To the best of our abilities, right? But we're also doers of the word. Now here's only. So when the scripture tells you, can two walk together unless they be agreed? That's what it means, bro. That doesn't mean I have no damn unity camp. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, that's a beautiful example right there, man. And as many as walk according to this rule, this rule, you know, to the best of their abilities, trying to do what the Lord has commanded them to do, which is keep his commandments, which believe in the word, have faith in him. Have faith in him, bro. Peace, you know, gather yourselves together. Well, I wish you would all speak the same thing, bro. I don't know what to say, but what the Lord say. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to say, but what Yahweh Shem Shah say, bro. And as many walk according to this rule, peace be unto them, and mercy and upon the Israel of Yahweh Shem Shah. That's what we're looking for, the mercy, ain't we? Because we believe the report, don't we? Aren't we always begging? Aren't we always pleading to have mercy in this time of Jacob's trouble? That the Lord deliver us out of these sad perils? Why is that? Because Yahweh Shem Shah put the spirit on us to be afraid, man. You know? To beg for mercy, for that hope of salvation, to warn the children of Israel, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men of all the sad perils, bro. 
This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, for I am married unto you. I will take you one of a city and two of a family and will bring you to Zion. Right. He says, hey, turn, O backsliding children of Israel. I'm going to Jason. I'm going to take a few of y'all, you know, I'm going to take you one of a city and two of a family. That's not a lot of people, you know, that's why we're stretching and clawing, stretching and clawing, asking you how about Shema Shai to add us to that number, man, to be a part of that number. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20, and it shall come to pass. In that day, that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smoked them, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yehovah Shemashah, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Only a remnant, bro. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty hand, to the, to the mighty God, Yehovah Shemashah. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, bro, a lot of them, a lot of them. Yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness, bro. Okay. We're about to wrap it up. There was something that came to my mind. I want to get it. What was that? Shoot. Maybe it'll come back. Going to that first Peter. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite scriptures. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. I know that song. I know they be going off, but it, it, it sounds good. But I don't listen to it no more because he's calling on, they're calling on another name. Talking about some Ahia or somebody like that, man. That damn GOCC stuff. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, okay? A holy nation, not nations. Singular, because we're all constantly talking about the children of Israel, so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people, that ye, the ones that, you know, this gospel shall be preached on the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come. You know, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, man. That's right, you should show praises of him who have called you out of darkness into this marvelous light, bro. And that's what we're doing right here. That's what we're doing, bro. That's what the brothers are doing. You know, on the four corners of the earth, man, proclaiming this word of truth, condemning this wicked ass world. You know, I want to get that uh, Isaiah. Verse 60, it says, arise and shine for thy light is come. And the glory of Yahweh Shemashah is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Man, that's right, this truth. And I want to get, I want to close it out, man. With that, um, is it in Matthew? Yeah, Matthew chapter 5. Verse 18. We're going to close it out with this, brothers and sisters. Lord willing, there's been edifying and exhorting, you know. Matthew chapter 5, verse 18. Shalaki, uh, 514. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Right. The light of the world, man. city set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it give it light unto all that are in the house. So let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That's right, man. Let that light shine, bro. Go out there and warn these children of Israel. Let's go, let's go get it with this. Uh, right to the page, baby. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, 
and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins, bro. That's right, the house of Jacob, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Not everybody. Children of Israel. Tell them, hey, y'all going off. Tell them to repent to the one true living God. Learn the names of the Lord. Yahweh is his name. Yahweh Shah is his son's name. Repent to those names. Beg the Lord for the Holy Spirit. And start watching the videos of the elders apostle Great Millstone and all the other brothers on that umbrella to be what? Washed clean. You know? And receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, bro. Did we just read, you know, the details of the of the of the scriptures, you know, how you know one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Now are you clean through the washing of the word? And we've seen the fruits of these other Israelite camps, you know, that are going off. Are their members clean? You can tell them by their fruits, bro. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. And, and want to say thank the water to Yahweh Shemasha for the spirit tonight. For the spirit of truth. You know, for the Holy Spirit, man. For the mercy. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rikach, Wadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom Israel. Shalom.